Hey guys, it's Marina Janelle here. This is my beautiful Arabian kamikaze, who ever since I left for 10 days has been shunning me. This is a video of a groundwork lesson that I just took. For Christmas, I went to California and my friend Sandy watched her for me. Thank you, Sandy, you're the best. But when I came back, Kazi didn't come to my car anymore. She would run away when she saw me. Her grand mountainers got worse. She wouldn't let me lead and she would push me around. It was horrible. She used to come at the sound of my car and nicker when she saw me and then all of a sudden she rejected me. We decided her feelings were hurt and that she was trying to teach me a lesson. So this groundwork lesson stemmed from that and the fact that I need to learn how to do groundwork. We did three lessons like this and it was amazing. The bond between us grew so strong and it was something I had never felt before. Here's a sneak peek into my lesson. As Kazi warms up, she's allowed to go up and down the gates at will. The only forbidden fruit is turning her bum facing towards me. Once she was warm, I started looking for positive body language from her. She started to have one ear turned in toward me regularly, and then next I started looking for licking, chewing, and her head lowering. Once she was totally warm, I added more to what I was asking from her. She was asked to trot. When she decided to canter on her own, she had to stay at the canter until I told her to trot, which was usually two to three times around the arena. Ideally, I would choose her gates for her, but the Arab in her had her cantering quite a bit in the beginning. I started seeing submissive signs from her every circle, so now it was time to see if we could join up. She was following me like a champ at first. Next, she was expected to follow behind me, not over my shoulder. I should easily be able to change directions without having to push into her space. At first, this wasn't happening. So I started to walk into her space for her to see why it's best to walk behind me. It's really cute in pictures to have her head over my shoulder, but in reality, this shows we're still figuring out who's the head mare. And then you're gonna walk around her face to the other side and scratch around the And then we're gonna do around. Say ho. Good. 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 Until she comes to you or come, either way. Good. Scratch. After having her follow me attentively, I left the arena and hid myself in the tack room. We wanted to see if she would join up with me again once I came out. And she did. You guys, this is so not like her. These sessions have helped us so much.
here I have her halter and I'm seeing if she changes her mind when it looks like I'm going to catch her. And she did. So we did a few circles again and then I asked her to follow. This time she was very interested in the halter. She's doing really well. She's being very nice and she's following you really well. The link up happened. You could feel how her attention was like really on you. And even when you left, she's like, yeah. there you are. And I, you know, yeah. and that's what, that's the whole point of the exercise is it gets them really tuned in. So good to the pause. I love it. <laughs> My goals for 2019 are well underway. I've been keeping track of my miles on this cute little calendar, and so far I've ridden 94 miles. I've taken four lessons, three have been groundwork lessons, and one was a riding lesson. I'm almost finished with my first horse-related book, which I will be reviewing in my next video. So far, January has been a huge success, and I've been having so much fun with all of my goals. Kazi and I have been getting closer, especially this last week, and I'm just so stoked to see what else 2019 has in store. Thank you so much for being a part of my learning process. If you have any advice and you want to private message me on Instagram, I would love that. I'm new to all of this and I'm just really excited at all the things that I'm learning. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to watch me progress in my goals or if you want to reach out, find me on Instagram. I'll see you guys next week.